Hello guys, um, and this is the Doctor's Props here, and today in this video we are going to be take, taking a look at this, which is my sixth uh, RB replica Sonic that I own now. Hopefully the final one as well. And this is the Pertwee 2 Sonic Screwdriver. So this is the one that John Pert we used in his last season, I believe. So what happened was basically, you know, the Sonic was going through a bit of an upgrade and they decided to strip off the, the um, spiral and strip off the, uh, the you know, the, the details on the handle there. And they decided to throw a magnet on. Yeah, if we can take a look at the, uh, if it'll focus on the halo here. I'm hoping it will. There we go. So as you can see, it's a nice red, and then it's brass inside. You can't really see the brass because of the red. Um, got that nice pointy bullet there, the ac accurate magnet, the screw in there, then I got the, the collar, got that bit which is of course a spiral on the original one, we go down to the activation ring which you've noticed here just like the Pertwee one, oh sorry, just like the Pertwee one that the Activation ring is, of course, pristine. Then we have the three lines, the infamous three lines there. And then the basic fourth and fifth Doctor Sonic handle with the infamous shear and the grub screw. And there's them on there. So that is the Pertwee 2, and of course it does slide down to reveal the black neck. And yes, before <laughs> I get people commenting saying it's not accurate, I know that on the actual prop, there's supposed to be a metal rod there to separate the halo from the black neck. Uh, I, I respect RB's work, and I think I've asked him to do enough here. In all fairness, I did forget to mention it to him, so it's my fault, but um, at the same time, I'm not going to, you know, send it back and say, oh, it's inaccurate, I want it to, and also the screw in there, I know people will tell me this, so I'm just going to tell you now, the screw in there is supposed to be red, I know, it's supposed to be red on my fourth as well, but I, again, forgot to mention it, so... So I think, really, the uh, the obvious comparison here that sort of needs to be talked about is its predecessor, which is, of course, the part we won. Now, everybody knows I have that because it's on my channel. If you want to look at that review, all of my Sonic reviews uh, will be in the link description uh, below. But yeah, here is the part we won. As you can see, all the stuff on there on the handle. If I put that above the part we two there, you can see that the body, you know, the silver bits at least are pretty much the same. It's just that the halo color has changed on here. This is a chili red, which is what uh, Roberto uses. And this is more of a, just sort of a, well, I don't know what red it is. <laughs> it's bright red, I think. Uh, this particular red isn't actually, well, it, I think it's accurate. I mean, I'm not, I thought it was more of a darker red kind of tone. Um, I'm going to look more into that. If you know anyway, let me know. Uh, but the bullets are pretty much the same. I think he uses the same thing. 
Uh, but of course, this time, it, obviously, the the magnets on the Pertwee two, but not on the Pertwee one, and on this one as well. I'm probably going to look into it because I actually prefer the collar touching the halo there. This one, there is still a little bit of a give there. So I think I will get that changed so that that becomes like this one. Accurate. But of course, this is, you've got a little bit of a tint of burgundy, uh, of brass then. But yeah, so... I don't know why, but the fourth and Pertwee, the Pertwee two and the fourth never had paint on the inside of the halos, whereas the Pertwee one and the fifth Sonic did. So I don't really know why that happened, but these are the handles here. As you can see, Pertwee one on the left has the decals and stuff like that, the pinstriping. The uh, the Pertwee two doesn't, because the Pertwee two is pretty much like the fourth basically yeah. so uh, we'll just uh yeah wet that down there okay that's uh what next this of course is the fourth as you can see pretty similar it's obviously weathered so the brass halo is more Visible here, as you can see. If I might be able to bring both of them up for you, so you can see them both. Uh, there's the differences. This one's Pertwee Two. It's pristine. This one's the fourth, and it's weathered. Boom! Super cool. So many halos here in this video. Uh, and then as we go down to the collar section, as you can see, it's got paint to mimic the corrosion, whereas this one is crystal clear. And then, as I told you in the... Let me zoom out, sorry. A little bit. As I showed you in the... the with the Pertwee 1, the fourth, which is on the left, and the Pertwee 2, the handles are basically the exact same, there is not really any uh, differences with those. So, yep, that's the fourth. Uh, now we've got a Sonic that was also with RB when he made that for me, and that was of course my fifth. It was being upgraded, basically the uh, halo was chipped and I wanted it a brighter red, so he asked me to send it back, so this is the the end uh, result. Don't know if it will uh, focus there for you to see. It's lighting is a bit dark, I'm afraid, but as you can see, and the forks have been painted this time as well, which is accurate to this one. The screw is silver on the fifth, which is accurate, so that's a relief. Uh, but yes, so. Uh, I will probably get around to painting those because that is, you know, essential. Uh, the white strip stayed the same. That hasn't really changed. And nothing else has changed on this, to be fair. To be honest with you, no, nothing else has changed there. So, of course, obviously, you know, the difference is there. Basically, this is a brighter red with the, the black magnet. This one's... The red magnet and uh, apart from that white strip there they're pretty much identical and the collar as well on the fourth and fifth the black bit should be showing a little bit more but I, I don't know I quite like it but the handles Again, uh, let me zoom out again. It's a lot of zooming out. Uh, I need it. To, I need an automatic one with a button, don't I? Pertwee two on the left, um, right. Sorry, I'm, I've just come off a shift, so I'm quite tired. Um, the fifth on the left, and the Pertwee two on the right. There, the handles again are basically identical. There's nothing. There is nothing new about that. It's really just heads. 
the collar placement and of course the the band. Uh, that's the fifth there. Um, what else could I? Well, I have the. I was going to do that one. The RB. Eighth Doctors. Yeah. Oh, I nearly dropped that there. Imagine what I would have done for the paint work. Um. This one's not really comparable because it's not the same as the others. So, can't really compare because this has got a red, sharp, pointed bullet, which I actually prefer the longer pointed bullets a little bit more so than the fat silver ones. I just think it looks a bit better, but that's just me. But as you can see, I prefer these kind of Sonics where you pull them down rather than... Uh, this one, where it doesn't even have an activation, you can't. You can only, you only pull it down to. And this is quite. A, it's got quite. A, hold on, sorry. There we go. It's got quite a hard activation. This one's got a very tough spring, and I'm thinking of replacing the spring because it's very strong indeed. But the only function this does is it folds in, so now you can't see the small bit which you can see on all the other Sonics. And they never painted the things black on this replica because they wanted an all silver, brass and red look. Because uh, you can notice that bit is not black either anymore. And it's all one piece. So yeah, there's no function to this one really. Um, I love it though. I think it is a super cool design, the eighth, but you know, there's not even a button to click so we can't even mimic it working. Whereas on these ones you can you can pull them down so yeah that's the eighth then of course we've got the war doctor sonic another pert we uh pert we another rb one with the added bonus of voila right and the awesome fez of course we can't forget the fez which is awesome I feel like I'd use this in a war, if I had to have a Sonic in a war. I, I, I feel like this would be just mine. But, again, I don't really know why I'm comparing these two, but I suppose I'm just comparing one without, with and without a Halo. But, um, don't forget this War Doctor's one was modelled off a toy as well. So, there you go. Right, size comparisons, okay. How I'm gonna do it, because I've got loads now, um, is I'm gonna put them in the order that they, they go in. Or the order that I have them, should I say. Should stop that from going. Six RBs. Six. And then we got then we got that. <laughs> Six RB Sonics. One Dark Energy Creations. And one um Roberto replicas, but that will soon change because I am obviously getting the 12th, 10th, and 13th. So that will change for Nick, but at the moment it's just the 11th that I have. Uh, I don't think there's any more. I don't think RB will be doing any more. I don't think there is any more to get anyway. So I think I have got all of them, all the ones I can get anyway. Yep, yeah, there's three magnet ones, one without a magnet. Technically two, because the eighth doesn't have one, and then there's the war. So yeah, there's nothing else I can get now from RB, really. Unless you, unless I get a custom, if I want a custom. But I'm not really a fan of custom Sonics. But anyway, sorry, nattered on a bit too much there. Right. If we can zoom out a bit here, actually. Just to get them all in this shot. There. So, we have, and this actually does light up. We have the Dark Energy Creations, 
Slight delay with the light there. The batteries are terrible, so I do apologize. Dark Energy Creations. We have the Pertwee One, which, you know, I do love, and it does play a special part in my collection, that one. The Pertwee Two, which, do you know what? I'm going to say it. I love it too. My weathered fourth Doctor Sonic, considering Tom Baker is one of my favourites. I think I love that one too as well. And my upgraded awesome fifth Doctor Sonic. Bearing in mind, never really wanted it. <laughs> but I'm glad I've got it now. The eighth Doctor Sonic, which you might not be seeing on my video for much longer, because I will be getting his new version. So you will be seeing an eighth Sonic on my channel, just uh, just not this particular one here. It might be going somewhere else. Um, and then of course the War Doctor Sonic, uh, which is just awesome, isn't it? You know, I love it. I much rather prefer this to the the toy version, even though the toy version. I keep getting told, and I I know I already know uh, that it's the toy version is accurate, but I don't care. I want a metal one. <laughs> I said that like such a kid then. And not to mention, that was, that's a nice picture there, isn't it? Uh, I don't like flicking it up. Sorry. I do, just not on video because I can never get it properly. And that's, of course, the, what's it? So, uh, the 11th, I've got that in. So those are all my Sonic screwdrivers as of the 31st of March, 2021. Hopefully this year, going into next year, I should have a lot more on this video, on this review, sorry. I am very tired, so forgive me, please. Um, tomorrow, I will do a video of... I've kind of already done it here, but of a sort of in-depth version of this video where I will, you know, say where, whether everyone's, you know, all of them are worth buying. And also, if any of you guys on Instagram have any queries about which one you want to buy, I will let you know in this video uh, tomorrow exactly which one you, you know, are worth getting, which ones maybe not or whatever. But uh, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, please tell me which one is your favourite. But consider the classic Sonics from at least third to the war complete. I do have a bonus for you. So I'm just going to put Sonic down. Uh, Sonic down. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I'm just going to put the phone down. Because I do actually have a surprise for you. Because I have the second, third, fourth, fifth, seventh and eighth, and more. People are thinking, hmm, what did the sixth Doctor have? Well, this is something I haven't reviewed on my channel, but I've had for quite a while now. It's on my Instagram page, and I will... Looks a bit bent, though. Uh, I will be doing a video of it. There's not much to review of it, but anyway, it is, of course, the Sixth Doctor Sonic Lance from Mooncrest Models. And of course, it does light up to a small degree. But, yeah, it doesn't light up that much. But I suppose you can see the light there, guys. And there, you can see the light on my hand. If I curl the hand there. So yeah, that's cool. That goes technically there. So there you go. Now it's complete, kind of, apart from the second order stuff. All right, then I will see you in the next video. I'm sorry that this is such a long video. <laughs> 
See you later, guys. Bye.